first of all, uh, I mean, I'm so excited about the win. Uh, I'm proud of our kids to keep fighting. Okay, I mean, you know, that team beat us last year by 10, or beat us by one at their place, and we blew a lead and didn't want to hold on. And the game was going in that same cycle. And that's one of the things off season. That's where the go mad came into play. You know, make a difference in the off season to where we're physically and mentally strong enough to finish a game. And you know, maybe it's not the script that you would write, uh, but our kids got the stop when we needed it. And we're able to finish the game, and uh, I'm real proud of them for that. What does it say about your team to you know to be able to fight back when they scored you know 21 unanswered points yeah. to tie the game? Well, it says a couple things. One says we're very resilient. Two it says we got a lot <laughs> we got a lot of room for improvement. Okay, I mean we didn't. I mean let's face it, neither team played very good defense today. We know that we had too many penalties, and that's been uncharacteristics of us. Uh, you know we we've got to coach that out of them. and guys got to be more mature. But we didn't turn the ball over. Okay, and I don't guess they did either. Okay, so no turnovers. So uh, on either side. But if we turned over once today, we would have lost the game. So uh, proud of our quarterback, our senior quarterback. Obviously played well. I'm proud of the whole offensive unit. I mean, to run for 200 yards, to over 400 yards, to play fast like we did, 87 plays. Uh, it's hot out there today. Guys are cramping. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, with obviously, with their offensive execution. Talk about Clinton's play today. I, mean, I don't know exactly. Every time I looked up, it seemed like he was catching a touchdown. What do you have today, Joe? You got uh, five touchdowns. Ten catches, I mean, guys, we don't have the fastest wide out in the league. I mean, you see that every week. But we knew on tape. I mean, and I've been, I'm very impressed with, with Jacksonville State's DBs. If you watch on tape now, I mean, they held, you know, the last four quarterbacks that they played. You know, the the Murray, the EIU, the uh, you know Tennessee Tech teams have been throwing the ball. I mean, they're only holding like 200 yards. They had eight picks in the last four games. So we really, we really challenged our kids and said, "Hey, you're bigger, you're stronger, you're you're more, you're older. You know, uh, go make some plays." I mean, they did today, and uh, we we were gonna have to have every one of them win. Coach has been there and kind of knows the the, the the adjustments that defensive backs that you've had to make in the, in the secondary with injuries and things like that. Well, obviously, there were some big plays, but also some big plays that your guys made. Can you kind of assess the play from your secondaries at this point? I can't think of too many big ones right now that we made, to be quite honest with you. Um, it was probably more lack of execution on their part. Okay, I mean, we, we got to get better there. We know that. Uh, we either got to get pressure or we got to cover better. And uh, next week playing Tech, you got the best wide out, arguably, in the league that's kind of scored at will. Uh, you know, we can't be in these scoring fest every week. Eventually, we got to hold the team under. Like we did last week to see Bo, hold them under, you know, under 24 points and, uh, you know, be in a normal game. Which is kind of ironic that between Bonner and Sims, you have people setting records, 10 touchdown passes between them, but the biggest catch that sure was not made was the one on two point conversion where you were able to force him the back end zone and use that as an extra defense. Right. And it's tough. We all know those two. Every week you put it on your call sheet, you know, and you say, you know, I kind of hope it doesn't come down to this. Because there's so not very much room margin for error. And to be quite honest with you, we didn't even play it right. You know, we didn't, they went in motion. I didn't see us adjust correctly. We're very fortunate uh, that we made the quarterback kind of have to bubble out, couldn't throw it on time like we wanted to, and uh, you know push it out of the end zone. But it, you know, like I said, it's uh, came down to kicking game. They missed the extra point, and it forced them to have to do that. And um, you know that that kills you in the kicking game if, when you can't stay on cycle for sevens. When you've got a couple of receivers one on each side, they're making so many big plays. Do you think that kind of motivates? Each, you know, one can kind of motivate the other in that sense? Well, uh, yeah, they do. They challenge each other. And I'm seeing here, so there's 22 of them that had 19 catches for 250 yards, okay? And yeah. we got to spread around, move the ball around a little bit more, get some other guys involved. And I don't think that's correct because I know uh, uh, Chris, Chris uh, Thompson had a big catch on the fourth round. That was a big one right there. But the guys I'm proud of are our two tight ends that played today. And that went unnoticed. We have not been an 11 personnel team all year long. And uh, that was something we've been working on and been able to hurt. We played Matt Stewart today. I thought he played outstanding. And then uh, he, he went down with some cramps and we brought in another redshirt freshman, Corey Rogers, who had a catch. Uh, you know, guys, that's why that running game was going a little bit enough to get us to the next throw. And uh, very proud for two new guys to contribute uh, besides Quentin and Butler. You had a guy for uh, Jackson State that was running quite a bit in teams. Can you talk about uh, just the way you thought your defense handled him? It's just well, I mean, 22 carries, you know, still 5.8 of the rush, too much. Okay, but guys are good. I mean, they, you know, that's a defending conference champion right there. I mean, they, you know, you see their stadium, 25 sky boxes, uh, you know, get to the place, you know, recruit Atlanta, recruit Birmingham. Uh, that's why they're always picked first in the league because, I mean, we understand the resources that they have. So we're all, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, to, you know, we're chasing it. 
But we all we all know that. So when you get a chance to beat them, uh, you better take advantage of it. And you did today. I guess you heard that uh, Tennessee State lost today. I heard it. I heard it. So what was the score? 49-28. You know, it's Tennessee State's done a great job of winning the close games. Eventually, it can get you. Uh, you know, I have to see the game tape and see what happens. But, you know, all I know is just like last week, we go another week and we control our destiny uh, just like we did nine games ago. And, uh, you know, we went out and we, we, we could see what happens from there. But uh, we'll enjoy it today and come back to work tomorrow. But, like I said, real proud of our, of our program.